Good morning, everybody. Stats and what's up, here. It is Saturday morning, and we are gonna go out and mow my dad's yard, who lives about 30 minutes away, but he said his backyard hasn't been mowed in like a month because his lawn guy quit showing up. Uh, I know, guys, I'm a lawn guy, I should mow it, but it's 30, 45 minute drive, guys. We're not gonna go there. Um, but I almost told him I'd do it this one time for him, and it's just the backyard because his uh, he got the front yard mowed. So backyard, he says like a foot tall. So I'm really excited to do to take these mowers, and you're about to see why. We got the Echo 2620 uh, weeder. Here's the main event, the main attraction, guys. We got the 60 volt Toro commercial, of course, uh, battery powered push mower. So I'm excited to see how this stacks up against this one foot tall grass. Um, we'll have to see. We've used this a couple times, but just on manicured lawns and it actually worked really well. Then we brought the commercial Honda just in case the Toro um, wants to you know, bog down or not, not work very good. But I'm putting a lot of faith in this thing. I'm believing that it will. And we also have the little handheld Echo blower. <coughs> but uh, we are taking the F-150 because it's a lot smoother ride than the F-250 work truck. Uh, so, especially for a 40, 30, 40 minute highway ride. But anyway, we are at the shop. We don't need the trailer today. Um, don't need the Toro or the rides. We could take the 36, but I really, really don't feel like towing a trailer about 25 miles from here. Really don't feel like doing that. So that's why I said just lift the mowers in the back of the truck. Okay, we are gonna head over there, so I will catch y'all when we get there. So we are here, and this backyard is pretty tall, man. Um, honestly, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Well, actually, yeah, it is. I mean, look at that. It's up to the top of my boot right there. That's pretty pretty tall. Um, I'd say it's about 10 inches, maybe a foot tall. But we're gonna try out the Toro, man. I'm excited to see if it's gonna work or not. But some parts are worse than others. Like, you can tell right there it gets really thick. And then over here is not really as bad. But we're gonna, I think we're gonna probably put the Toro on the highest setting and uh, see what happens, man. But yeah, see like the side over here is not that bad. It doesn't look like it's been mowed for a month over here. But over there you can definitely tell. If you guys are curious, uh, he had a lawn guy who kept like canceling and kept having issues with equipment or I don't know what it is, man. But he just, he kept, he didn't show up for like a month. He kept making excuses. And so my dad finally fired him and said, I'm just going to start doing it myself. So I gave him an old mower of mine. Uh, he took it to the... <clears throat> he took it to the shop to get fixed because it something's wrong with it. It doesn't want to turn on. I think it needs a new carb or something, and I didn't, didn't have time to mess with it. He certainly doesn't. He's real busy uh, working. So he's going to get that fixed, but I'm going to get it cut for him this one time, and then he can start after. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to go get out the tour. I'll show you guys how it works, and then we'll get to town. Here's the mower, guys. If you're curious, here's the battery. Uh, press that button. shows you how many bars of life it has. Here's the actual size of it. But uh, this mower is pretty neat. How this works is right here, you got a button, you can choose auto or max. Uh, we're gonna go max for this yard because we need this on full power, but you can do auto and it saves battery uh, and it just kind of, it has a sensor in it that adjusts the, the blade speed as you go along. Pretty neat. But how it works is you, Pull down, this is for your blade control. You pull this down and you press this little button and the blades turn on. That's how it works, you let go. It does that, it's really, really quiet, guys. But we're gonna get this started, man. This is gonna be fun. I'm excited to see how this will do. But, all right, let's get started over here.
so we just finished mowing and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this mower definitely exceeded my expectations. It didn't really bog down at all. Um, and I'm kind of surprised by that because this stuff was really, really tall. And so I am very surprised. I mean, obviously you can tell the grass was, you know, really tall. So there's some stuff that it missed, but I'm not gonna leave like this. I did bring the bag for this mower. So I'm gonna bring the bag out, mow it one more time. Let's check out how the battery did. So it was full when we started. Oh, uh, we only got one bar left on this battery. So yeah, the battery doesn't last very long. That was probably about 25 minutes, 30 minutes, but this stuff was tall and I had it on max the whole time. So it didn't get to do its own speed and it has a self propel. So uh, I can understand that. But luckily I do have another battery that we'll use to bag it. And I will record bagging it probably, but I'm gonna get this weedy did real quick. I'll show some weedy ding along the house. And then uh, like I'll weed all this, all this junk right here and then along the house right there. And I'm gonna do the rest real quick and then I can grab the bag and bag all this up. So, let's get it done.
Okay, so we got the bag on it. I just got the whole yard weedy did, but I'm gonna change out the battery. So all you do is press this button, battery pops up, comes out like that. You stick the new one in there. And voila, and this one is full. So let's get this yard nice and cleaned up now. Uh, I'm gonna go north to south instead of east to west this time. So it'll look nice and clean. But I'm gonna set you guys up. Let's get the whole thing done. So you guys saw this little mower outdid itself today if you ask me i have no complaints at all that is the best electric mower i've ever used because check this out as you guys saw we all we had to do we only mowed this twice so we mowed it once without a bag second time with a bag and guys it cleaned it up so nice it's almost like i was using my hondas my commercial hondas which are gas powered and have never given me issues when you know when it comes to thick grass like this so that is crazy that an electric mower did this in two passes and it still has battery left. I could go mow the front yard if I needed to. But man, that is just amazing. And it leaves such a great cut too. I mean, it leaves almost identical cut to my gas Hondas like I was saying. So that is awesome, man. I can't complain at all about this little mower. So I highly recommend it. Um, I'm not sure if I would take it, you know, every day because got two i only had they only so just to disclose this toro did send this to me a couple months ago and they only sent uh they sent two batteries and the batteries only last about 45 minutes a piece and so i wouldn't say this is good for you know going out and mowing every single day because you're not gonna you know you gotta have 10 batteries just to make it through the day um so you know even if it, like just small yards even like this yard you know you need like you know 10 12 batteries to make it through the day with yards like these um that's the only downside of the battery life, battery percentage, but man, it cuts great. Didn't give me any troubles, didn't bog down anything, man. That was crazy. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We are done. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my weekend. Hopefully you guys do too. And we will see you next weekend, new video. Peace out.